we will be spending 36-ish hours exploring Geneva, Switzerland. I found an article in the New York Times written back in 2019 that I've used as a jumping off point. We're not going to be following it too strictly, though we will put some of its items to the test. We're going to look at what we want to look at. In the article, they talk about going to uh, public baths and uh, going into the water in the nude with a bunch of strangers. What? And we are from the American Midwest. That is not something that we do. That would not be pleasurable to us. Our first destination is BioFred. It is a place that's supposed to have some amazing vegan breakfasts that are made by people who are Hindu and very into yoga and they make all the food with very loving care because they believe in the transfer of energy from the person making your food to your food. This is going to be some tasty stuff. How could it not? Exactly. I'm excited. I don't have any coins, do you? This place is so cool. It's fantastic, and I'm so glad that I came across it, but I cannot remember how I came across it. I'm just really grateful that I did. It's on this little side road in Old Town Geneva, and uh, it just, you know. There's this cute little window seat. Yeah. You know how sometimes when you're traveling and you land at the spot where it's like, everything just works, everything just comes together? This is one of those times. Definite thumb up of bumps here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maison Tavel is a medieval house once owned by nobility. There are over six floors that cover the story of urban Swiss life. It's like an elephant chair to me. That's what I thought. Um, I, I could see that. Lot. What do you think, guys? Elephant chair or ring chair? She seems like a prankster. Oh. That animal is eating that man, and then that man and the horse is killing. I was thinking, what a cute little room to <laughs> just gather <laughs> and chat and maybe read a book, but look at this. Nightmares if you hang out in this room. This actually looks like a cozy kitchen. It does, yeah. Yeah, I had to work in that kitchen. We'll get a kitchen like that so you can do more cooking. Um, okay. We are finished with exploring Maison Tavet. It was definitely something worth checking out if you like history. Yes, and you pay what you wish. Oh, oh yeah. Pay what you wish. Chema Cuisine. Chicken, potatoes, and that's pretty much it. The New York Times article recommends ordering Chema Cuisine's signature dish, half a roast chicken, roasted potatoes, and dressed salad greens. We did, and wow. The main dish here is chicken. They do have a Thai chicken, they do have a salad, but it's all about the chicken, and this is supposed to be the best chicken meal to have.
period. And the best sauce was just recommended to us with our chicken, so I'm excited. And the chicken here are 100% Swiss, no antibodies, no, you know, none of that stuff. Delicious chicken. Delicious. Fantastic. I, very hearty, very filling. We couldn't eat it all. No. I love the ambiance in there, like the yellow walls and the cobblestone walls or whatever they were. It was very cute and yeah. the service was fantastic. Very kind. Uh, issue with the sound system? Mm. We had a faulty speaker above a, our head, but you know. We, Minor issue. Good job, New York Times. We're on the way to the Red Cross Museum, the international one, and we're going to take public transit. Not that one. Looks like we're moving away from where we want to go. So I think we'll get off the next stop. Now, to walk to the International Museum of the Red Cross takes 39 minutes. To take a bus in the correct direction from where we were at takes like 24 minutes. So, I don't know. Honey, you gotta master public transportation. You just gotta try. Did it. We took the bus to Geneva. It's now an eight minute walk to the museum, and it's a beautiful day now in Geneva. Mm -hmm. Couldn't be happier. So far, we're not hearing anything, but it's supposed to start automatically. That was a moving experience. I, w I think I was expecting more like history on the Red Cross, but it was more about the mission of the Red Cross, which I think is very important to understand. And it had people's stories yeah, you know, who've yeah. been through a tremendous amount. Yeah, so yeah, very, very moving. It was a good experience. Yes, a valuable one. Yes, very much so. Up next is a broken chair. Uh, do you think the construction equipment is here to fix the chair? No, I do not. Nothing to do with that? No. Yeah. You are in front of the United Nations. Melissa has done her best to find flowers. Ooh. I know how to keep Chris excited about gardens. Find the big trees. <laughs> Did not expect to see that in Geneva. No. You're thinking Willy Wonka just like me, aren't you? <laughs> oh, with the fan, yeah. <laughs> We weren't sure if this was going to work, but I had read in the article that you just go downhill from the garden and then you uh, kind of find a path and that you can see the jet d'eau or the big fountain in the Lake Geneva that's famous from this side. And just like, I think this will be an, an extra nice view compared to what we've gotten so far. Well, right now, look at this. This is pretty nice. Yeah. 
it's always nice to stroll in a park. Who doesn't love that? There have been a lot of green spaces here to appreciate. Yes. It's so pretty. That is the world famous Geneva Fountain. Jetto. Okay, that's a lot of sightseeing. Now it's time to get ready to go eat. We were in the mood for Indian cuisine and found turmeric online. It had good ratings, so we thought we'd give it a try. The food was delicious and quite affordable. The turmeric was delicious and delightful. Spicy, spicy, spicy goodness. Good job, man. I booked this for you, and it was delicious. I enjoyed it, too. Tomorrow, we do have some cheese and some science. Cheese and science, tomorrow. Good morning from Geneva. Good morning, everyone. We are off on the adventure that Chris has been excited about for quite some time. I have been very excited about it. It's, you know, it's going to be very educational for you guys and for us. And, um, yeah, we're going to totally nerd out. That's pretty, pretty cool. Right when we get off, we see the globe of science. <laughs> I'm pretty sure behind us is the new museum that's going to open any day now. We unfortunately are here a little bit early, but I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of science geeking out going on over there. We visited CERN. We have. It was a quick little tour going over some very, 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 very complex things. What did you learn? Not too much. <laughs> uh, I learned why the, the Large Hadron Collider exists. I mean, I had looked online, I was like, eh, kind of, I understand, but now I feel like I understand. It exists so that scientists can learn what happened before the Big Bang, so that they can understand um, the the building blocks of our existence and so that they can see particles before they become particles like matter and antimatter and I'm not going to go much further because I'll probably get it confused but I do love that humans from all over the world got together put this together and they're studying this kind of stuff because this is the kind of stuff we should put we should be putting energy towards because it's really interesting way beyond my capacity though I also loved seeing the very first World Wide Web server, a Next workstation. Next was created by Steve Jobs. He sold it to Apple and then became the Apple CEO. Did you know that? I did not. For the second time. Yeah, uh, that was cool to see the actual server. You know, I've been on the World Wide Web since the beginning, so I feel connected to it. So did you like that? Well, we're all connected to each other. <laughs> oh, and then the little note on it. This is a server. Do not power down. That's very typical of a IT type way to communicate policy to people. Just put a little <laughs> handwritten note on the server. That's how it was. Next thing though is we've got some fondue. Some fondue. <laughs> This comes from another article I read in Food and Wine magazine, and in it, it said Les Amours is the oldest cafe in Geneva, and it's located in Old Town, which is where we're at. There's the Les Amours, and I think we'll need to save the rest of the details for a little bit later. I stumbled across Les Amours while reading an article in Food and Wine. 
when I learned that it's the oldest cafe in Geneva with a menu that hasn't changed since the 17th century, I knew we needed to try it. This is a fantastic way to end our 36-ish hours here in Geneva, restaurant Les Amures. Uh, thumbs up to that. Mega cheese goodness. <laughs> and then to our time in Geneva? Yeah, way cool. I love Geneva. It is an amazing city. Time for some donuts. We came across a donut shop. We have to have a donut in Geneva. We just have to. Oh, yeah. Well, especially since we saw ginger donuts and they looked adorable. And I got the OG of donuts right here. Look at the OG. Oh, Melissa, je suis old school. Ooh, <laughs> vieux et cool. Je suis vieux et cool. Yes. I. We. Oui. Hey, it's, it's saying that I am old school. Uh. You will like me. The OG, OG. The OG. <laughs> The donut. Quit talking French. <laughs> Try it. Okay, so the OG of donuts, it's sprinkled, it's glazed, traditional, massive though. Look at this. Mm. Mm. You oh. Need... oh, Melissa. <laughs> you need to take another bite so you really. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> the donut theater is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, you guys, if you've never seen Donut Theater. Oh, Melissa, <laughs> I told you, you would like the OG. How could you not? C'est moi. C'est oui. C'est du bon. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> the best donut theater yet. I went not with the OG, and you're not going to get any French from me. Uh, lemon. I went with a lemon donut because I like lemon donuts. Mm. 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 Very good. Uh, I'm not the OG, but I'm lemony. <laughs> yeah, pretty good, huh? <laughs> C'est magnifique. Pretty good. C'est good bon? C'est bon. <laughs>